I'm Kelly Warner. Every three minutes, an American is diagnosed with a form of blood cancer. Paul Layton of Springfield was one of those people. A stem cell transplant was his last hope at survival. And because someone chose to become a donor two decades before, he's alive today. This is the beginning of the cupping process. Coffee is Paul Layton's business. As a coffee trader, he facilitates the flow of green coffee between suppliers and roasters. Four years ago, life took a scary turn, and Paul was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, brought on by a disorder that prevents stem cells from maturing and accumulating in his bone marrow. It didn't look good. I had a little bit of woe was me, and then I just began to think about my life and what I've had the privilege to experience, and I thought, wow, I mean, every day is an adventure. After two rounds of powerful chemotherapy, Paul's only hope was a stem cell transplant. His information was entered into the bone marrow donor registries, DKMS, and Be the Match. And while patients can wait months and never find a compatible donor, a perfect match was found. Here's Thomas. That's when I first met him. Paul knew very little about his donor initially, but two years after his transplant, he and his family traveled to Fulda, Germany to meet policeman Thomas Herring, a 42-year-old husband and father of three who registered as a donor 22 years before. In front of a barrage of cameras, Paul finally met the man he credits for saving his life. I was not to be here three years ago. There was no, no, no hope. But through DKMS, Be The Match, the wonders of medicine, and thanks to God, we were given a miracle. And that's why Paul shares his story with anyone willing to listen. It is to stimulate people to think about the registry to think about donating, because we need more people on that system. Every day I wake up is an absolute miracle. <laughs> Thomas, is that miracle? Without question. If you want more information on registering to become a bone marrow or peripheral blood stem cell donor, check out these sites, dkms.org or be the match.org. The more people who register to be donors, the greater the possibility that life-saving matches can be made. I'm Kelly Warner.